all right hey what's up welcome back we're doing another video today all about lighting and as you can see it looks a little different than it normally does in here i know it's a little wild i'm sorry but i wanted to show you what it looks like with these lights on because i want to show you guys how you can go from something like this to something like this which i'm going to teach you guys today how to get it all done and how to make it your own using various tips, tricks, lighting, you know, things I got on hand to show you guys exactly what I'm using, what I have used in the past, and what you can use to upgrade your own setup. You might have some of these items on hand. I will have some links to some of these products that I'm gonna be showing today, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick example of what you can do with lighting to really enhance the way that your stream looks. Now, lighting can be super different depending on the style that you wanna go for. You can go for something more light, more fun, more happy. I like to have a little bit more flashy colors. I like to have a little backlight and a little front light on me and just have my space look kind of just pleasing to the eye. I just want it to look something like how you see it right now, but I change it up every single day. Mostly those little backlights here. So I got these little nano leaves down here. I got these little life effects, LEDs, strips, and, and some other stuff. So I just wanted to walk you guys through my process of what I do and what I use for lighting and kind of teach you guys maybe some tips and tricks that maybe you didn't know about in terms of lighting. So stick with this video. Hopefully it's not a long one. Here we go. So judging from my last lighting video that I made in 2018, when I made a whole bunch of these streaming 101 videos, uh, you guys seem to really gravitate towards the lighting video. And that's why I'm making this secondary video so that you guys can kind of see exactly what I'm doing and what I'm changing and how it looks and what it could do, what it couldn't do, how you can augment the stuff you already have on hand to get something that you might like or might work for your setup or your own stream, you know, depending on whatever you got at your disposal you might actually have some stuff that you haven't really thought about i'm going to touch on some stuff that i talked about in my last lighting video just to like bring it into, into 2020 unfortunately this isn't the best year but that's besides the point okay so back in my 2018 video a lot of people came in asking about this light that i have here it's a little battery operated uh, operated light a lot of people kept asking me like hey what is that light and let me tell you Stop asking for this light. It's not that good, man, okay? It takes a battery, and these batteries can be cheap on Amazon if you want to get them. But it, it's a, it was a great light. Don't get me wrong, dude. This light was a workhorse for me back in 2016, 2017 when I originally started using it. Now, the problem with this light is that you can't keep it on all the time. There's no, there's no power besides the batteries, and that's annoying. I don't want to give you a light that you have to constantly change the battery on. You know what I'm saying? You should have the option to plug in something to keep it hardwired to your your outlets. You don't want something that you have to constantly change that battery because it gets super annoying, especially for the longer streamers out there. I go for at least, you know, six hours at a time. So I need to make sure that it lasts that long at least. Most likely this battery will last me like four to five hours. And, you know, it varies from battery to battery. And over time, these batteries on here can start to get a little trashy and start failing on you I'm, I'm gonna talk about this light real quick on here as a very simple let me turn off these other lights real quick okay so back in 2017 2016 i was given this light uh from a production and i used it as primarily like a background light i would i would put some gels on here and i'll show you that in a minute uh and i would i would sit it behind me and it would literally just illuminate the background of my setups my streams and it looked good and it was nice however i would have to replace this dumb battery every three to four hours and it was super annoying and back then i used to stream for like eight hours and now i do like six to seven but it's it, it was a really nice light it had a little uh had a little a little brightness knob on it so i could turn it down or turn it up it also had a spot and wide viewed mode so it's like you could turn it to so you could turn it to the spotlight mode or you could widen it out and kind of cover a little bit more ground um and it also came with oh that's so bright it also came with this little thing on the front that was like a little piece of uh, plastic to kind of diffuse the light and i'll talk about that as well here in a minute what i used to end up doing is i used to take this light i would take a gel and it was actually this one right here. I put this in my other video as well, but I used to take this and I would go ahead and I would fold it up a couple of times and I'd put the light through it like so, increase the brightness. And then I would take that and stick it behind me and just sort of illuminate my wall to give it some sort of nice color in the background. Let me bring back this light on here real quick. Uh, but yeah, so I used to, I used to put this up in the background to just give my, my, my stream a little sense of just color and just like a wash of of something pleasing to the eye and, and every time i see this i'm always like oh man it looks kind of good dude i kind of like it you know i'm holding it right now granted but but still it, it's a nice little source of light 
but the big problem was the stupid battery that I hated dealing with. And every time I had to switch this battery out, it was always annoying, man. Every time I had to sit there and swap it out and my chat would get annoyed and I would get annoyed. They didn't get annoyed, but I did. I've come up with a new version of this. And because so many people asked about this, I wanted to find something new that you could order literally today, right now, if you wanted to. Now, granted, I'm not sponsored by this or anything like that. I went on Amazon and I found myself a nice little light here. And you can already tell it's a lot thinner. It's a lot cleaner. It's a lot nicer. I got this little battery on the back here. It's nice and thin, although you can get the bigger batteries and all. It's the same batteries, which is nice. I found this light and it seemed to be something that I could kind of promote to you guys because of how cool it is. And the reason it's cool is that it's an LED light. It has a bunch of little LEDs in here. I think this thing ran me about 60, I think 60 bucks, maybe a little extra with tax. This light could be your next great light that'll help you in getting something kind of unique for your own channel. So on the back here, we have a power button. We have two little dials here and I'll show you exactly what all this does. For 60 bucks, dude, this thing is amazing. Not only is there a, uh, a button to turn this thing off and on, but also they come with an application that you can load up and you can actually turn it on using the app on the phone. So if I wanted to set this far away and turn it on and off, I could just by tapping this button and getting myself my light. Now, granted, you don't need to use the application. You can use a little power button here on the back. This light is basically the same as that last light. It's just a little bit more modern. And this thing's got a lot more functionality than you would actually think. Right now, this thing is sitting at 5% brightness. So, you know, it's already pretty bright. Let me go ahead and boost it up all the way to 100%. And on the back, it's kind of cool. It's got this little LED readout that shows you how, how bright it is and whatnot. But anyways, you can see just how bright it is. It's very, very similar to the last light that I just had. Let me see if I can put that, that gel on it. Now, granted, I'm going to bring that gel back and put it behind myself. And boom, it's pretty close. Now, maybe it's not as bright as that last one. But there's a little trick here that you don't actually need a gel because this thing comes with its own set of colors and it'll change on the fly. I know, right? Pretty freaking cool. So if I change this to a nice little, okay, so we have something kind of similar to that gel that I had a moment ago. So if I put this behind me, boom, now you can see it's very much like our last light. It's a little more uniform, a little less spotlighty. It's nice and it has that color wash that I wanted. How cool is that that this light controls the hue as well as the saturation of these colors? If I go to like, uh, let's say a color, let's go ahead and set it to our red color here. And what else is kind of cool about this light is like when you push in these little, these little buttons here, so I just push that in, now it goes over to a saturation level, which will change the saturation of that color, which is kind of nice because now I'm sitting here with either a pink or maybe I can up the saturation all the way and get myself that nice red. You can cycle through each color and tone down the saturation towards a whiter light if you choose to. But not only that, it does have a regular mode of going between daylight and tungsten. And if you don't know what those are, uh, daylight is the color temperature of sunlight and tungsten is the color of those kind of like orangey, you know, bulbs you might have in your in your home, on your, on your lamps and whatnot. And it's all has to do with color. It, it doesn't really matter. But anyways, so you got the warm color and then you also have the more blue color. So you can kind of go in between and, and choose that way. I think most of you guys are going to like the color factor of this thing because of how cool it is that you can just like mess around and change your colors on the fly. Uh, you can use the application. The application can also change these colors. So if I kind of cycle through this wheel here, you can kind of see them changing and whatnot all over my face which is a really cool feature, right? Uh, you can get yourself multiple of these things. I'll post a link down below, but it's a really nice little feature to add a little splash of color or maybe even as an actual light that I'll kind of show off here in a little bit. And you get yourself a little battery with it and it comes with this little extra diffusion sheet right here. And I'm gonna go over what exactly diffusion is and it comes with this little tiny uh, baggy kind of stick it into when you're, when you're done. So that's gonna be our, our lighting number one. I wanted to show you guys this because of how much people responded to this little light that I had last time. Okay, so back when I first started streaming, I did use that little tiny light. However, I also used something else just as like a little bit of something something in the background. And that was some of these things called Christmas lights, man. So we used to, uh, you know, I, I had these laying around and I thought, why don't I just try to use it? So I ended up turning them on. Granted, these aren't really working that like half the strand is out, but that's that's OK. Anyways, 
I got these little Christmas lights here and it actually adds a lot of light. And so if I turn off my lights here, you can see just how much light these actually kind of give off as a nice little warm glow to it. And it's actually, it's pretty pleasing to the eye. And you know, a lot of people tend to have these on hand and it could be a good source of light for you. And you can see just how much it's already illuminating my face. And if I put them in my background, you can just, you can kind of see how much, uh, you know, they're nice. They're pleasing to the eye. It's a little subtle effect back there. So if that was ever something you want, there's something you can kind of use. It's kind of simple and it adds a little bit of something, something. However, if you needed to use it as a source of light, you could always just bundle it up. You could always keep it to like the side of your desk and then it would kind of give off this warm little glow you know what i mean once i ended up upgrading my lighting i ended up getting these things called life effects led z strips uh now these are rgb and if i turn off these lights over here and turn on these other lights that i have you can see what they actually do and it's pretty cool man they add a lot of functionality and i can also change the color of these lights on the fly i can use this little uh, this application to change uh, my light as i see fit i can make it brighter i can make it darker i can change the colors i can set it to a uh, a rainbow mode and it starts to move around and stuff it, it's it's kind of cool man you know i really i really think these lights have a lot of functionality to them and i'm able to do a lot with them and not only that i'm able to sit here and paint my light so if i go back to blue here i can actually sit here grab one of the colors and almost paint in the colors i want so if i click on pink I can sit here and drag the pink around and you can see it's already starting to affect the light over here. So pretty neat and pretty handy. So Life Effects LIFX makes a lot of different types of lights that are very customizable and offer you a lot of flexibility in terms of color as well as just brightness. If you needed just a pure white light, I can turn on another light I have. I have this other option over here to my side and I, I can change the color of that as well. And same thing, change everything. And it adds a lot of glow and, and you know, sort. it's a source of light. So you can utilize that however you see fit. So we'll go back to my other lights here. These lights I just kind of recently got and it allows me to get this nice evenly lit front key light as well as a backlight to give me that little edge on my face here that you're seeing. And I try to you know break out of my background using that. So let me show you exactly what I'm using. I found these lights on Amazon and they were under the brand name Newer. It came in this little nice carrying case. Inside that was two lights that I ended up using as my key light as well as my backlight. A key light is kind of your main source of light coming at you. Backlight, obviously some backlights, backlighting me. With these lights comes an extra little feature and I'm gonna show you that here in just a second. Let me take down this light. Okay, so this is the light that I'm using right here. Let me go ahead and switch it off real quick. So this is the light that I ended up getting. Uh, it comes with two of these. And it's a really cool little light, bunch of LEDs on the front, and it allows you to change between two different color temperatures. Now, when I turn this bad boy on, it's off like a hefty amount of light. And if I turn it all the way up, you can see just how bright it actually gets. It's pretty freaking bright, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, the cool part, again, is that you can kind of change the, the color temperature. And you see there's a little number on the back here. So right now I'm sitting at 56, and I can switch it up and move on over to an oranger hue, which is a really nice... Uh, Nice way to change the color temperature on the fly. I had it at 56 a moment ago. So I've been using this on a little a little arm, but for now, I'll just put it on here and show you exactly uh, what else you can do with this light. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off for a second. Okay, so inside this, uh, this container that comes with it, the package, uh, it comes with two light stands and it comes with these things called soft boxes. So inside, it comes with this little tiny, uh, this little tiny pouch right here. And inside the pouch is two separate things. One are gonna be these little tiny stakes which are used almost like a tent, okay? Okay, so with this light, uh, you have these little holes all the way around, and inside you just put these little things right here, and that's gonna be used to keep the softbox on and in place. So along with these little rods comes this little softbox thing, and on the inside, you can see it's reflective on the inside, and on the outside, it's black. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and show you exactly what it's like. Okay, so now we have our softbox on here, right? It's got the black backside, and on the other side, it's got... It's got like this nice silver side that's gonna be used for the light to bounce off of and try to go in one certain direction. So if I turn this back on and turn it around, you can see it's kind of just spreading that light everywhere pretty evenly as opposed to it being like a spotlight. One other thing that comes with most of these lights is a thing that's called diffusion. And I have one right here. We have this stuff called diffusion. And this diffusion, when you put it on top, is going to soften the box of light up a little bit so it's not so harsh on my face. And if I pull it down again, you can see just how hard that edge is. Let me go ahead and back this off here a little bit. The light ends up getting spread a little bit more softly when you put on the diffusion. Diffusion is basically a way to soften up a light source 
so that it looks better on your skin. You can see how much more evenly it's spreading across my face rather than it being that harsh spotlight that you saw a second ago. So what I ended up doing is that I'm not actually using this softbox at all. Because this is my backlight, I like it to be a little bit more aggressive. So what I ended up doing is with this light, I didn't, I didn't want it to be a soft source of light. I wanted that hard edge and I wanted it somewhere up in kind of my ceiling area. So the problem with a lot of these lights is like, because the fixture is so close to the edge here, no matter what I do, when I turn this on, like you can still see it's kind of glowing on my hand a little bit. I want it to be a directional beam of light, almost like a laser, right? What I ended up doing is I made this thing that we like to call a snoot. However, I had to make it with what I had at the time, which happens to be this little piece of foil. So I made this little foil here and it's called a snoot. So basically you put it on the end of it and it kind of turns this into more of like a spotlight, right? So I'm going to put this on. Usually I use this stuff called black wrap. Now black wrap is something you would wrap around a light much like this, except it doesn't have this reflective, you know, foil on the outside. So it's not flashing that light everywhere. Now what I did to get around that is I ended up having some, some gaff tape that I put on the inside of this thing, which makes it a lot less able to leak the light and have it bounce on the edges here off in a different directions. It's all kind of going forward and it, it gets absorbed into the sides here. So now it's more of a spotlight. So if I turn this thing on, you can kind of see I have more of a spotlight now. And if I turn that up, you can see just how much more it is less evenly lighting my entire wall up and more so it is keeping it down to a finer, a finer point. And the cool thing is, is that I'm able to adjust this and kind of shape it a little bit. So if I wanted a more narrow slit of light going through and then I turn it back around, you can see it's more, it's more long, elongated, whatnot. Now you can see it's giving me this little edge on the side of my face. It is now my backlight and I'm just throwing it up there. Meanwhile, this light over here is giving me a nice little frontal glow to illuminate the front side of my face. And it's nice and it looks pleasing to my eye. I like what it's doing. It's nice, soft. I actually doubled down on the diffusion on this other light that you can't really see right now. And then this light is just open and doing the backlight thing. So let's say you don't have the means of changing your already the lights that you have already to a certain color that you might want. Now, here's something that you might be able to do, and it's called using gels. Now, we saw it earlier with the little LED lamp where I had this little piece of colored gel, and uh, this is actually used to change certain types of lighting that I used to use to a more orange tungsten-y colored look. And if I put this in front of uh, the light that's in front of me here, you can see it already that this light is already being affected by the gel that I'm using. If I were to maybe put this up in the, uh, let me put this up in the, the backlight. So I put that light kind of up in this light. You can already see it's giving me a little bit more of a warmer edge rather than if I were to pull it down. And now you got that nice, cool, crispy, like whiter light. You know what I mean? There's a lot of gels out there. You don't, there's not just like orange, there's multiple colors out there. And I happen to have this gel roll that I've showed off in previous videos, having a bunch of different colors, such as, such as green, or there's some blue in here. I got, I, there's multiple colors that you guys can use to change your light without having to buy something really expensive. Now these gels, you can get a big pack of them for not too expensive. So that way you're able to change any light that you already have to a different color. So, you know, if I wanted to, I could take this blue gel right here and I could cut it up into multiple little pieces and tape them or put them onto my lamps that I already have, my lights, and change the color that way. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was a thing called diffusion, which we already kind of hit on with the softbox here. Now, diffusion is more of a, think of like a sheet of paper, right? It's meant to diffuse light to give it a more softer look. So again, we have this harsh edge right here on the back of my neck, but if I put the diffusion up, you can see it softens up that edge and kind of makes it a little bit softer, right? You're diffusing the light and making it more smooth around instead of being this kind of hard edge that you're seeing here that almost looks like the sun's hitting me. Now there is a little bit of diffusion already on that light, so it's not perfect, but you get the idea that the more layers of diffusion you have, the more diffused the light's gonna look. There's, there's multiple different types of diffusion. This happens to be, uh, I think, 216. It doesn't matter. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of different types of diffusion and each one has its own characteristic. This one just happens to be very opaque and it's almost like a frosted glass, right? You can kind of see like how much it actually diffuses the light. It makes it a little bit more pleasing to the eye. So I wanted to give you guys more examples of lighting that you could use that you already have laying around your house. And one of them is so simple, it's probably sitting in front of you, and it's your phone, man. So a phone, most phones today all have a built-in flashlight mode, right? 
So you can utilize this as a source of light. And if I turn off my other lights, so you can kind of see that I could actually use this as the same sort of backlight that I had a second ago. Or if I have a little piece of diffusion, I can actually put it through and give myself a more natural, nice look that might suit your needs. You know what I mean? Like this is a nice looking light, right? Now, maybe you're not getting that, the softness that you actually desire. Maybe you're getting that harsh light and you put diffusion on there and it's not doing enough. Well, I have one more suggestion for you and that's taking your light and you bounce it into something and have it reflect back onto you. So if I take my diffusion here again, we're going to pretend this is a wall, right? Again, I could get the hard edge and it might be a little too extreme for, for your liking, or I can take that exact same light and bounce it into a wall. So if I have a wall next to me or a wall in front of me, right, it's going to illuminate me a little bit and give me a little bit of extra softness to the light that maybe the diffusion isn't giving me. So one thing you could do is you could take some paper if you have it on hand, you can take your phone, you could plug it into a power source. And so you could always just wrap it in a little bit of paper and you're going to get that nice soft glow. And maybe that's going to be just enough light for you and enough softness for you that it suits the needs that you are looking for. Take what you have available to you and try to use that before trying to go out there and purchase things that you don't really need. While my lights are still off here, I did have one other thing that I use, and that is this little touch LED USB light that literally you can plug into a power bank like this. And now when I touch the tip, it turns on that light and maybe this could be something. This literally cost me like nine dollars i think now this is a little bit of light that could be nice however you can see just how much some cameras are affected when you tone things down like you see how it's flickering on me now that's me pushing and holding on this thing and when i do that it dims the light so i have a little bit of more control than you actually think i do at the cost of you know my shutter speed is kind of being affected here and that's why it looks so stroby this is actually a really cool source of light and i knew i use this for my cat my cat needs light. He needs light too, right? I mean, he's not here right now, but you can see how much this is already helping adding to a situation. Give me a little backlight. Maybe, maybe I could mount this to my chair and leave it right here and get a cool little lighting effect on the side. Or maybe I could, I don't know, put it underneath me when I'm playing a horror game and maybe it just kind of lights me from underneath and it's kind of spooky and scary. You know what I mean? You can always do, uh, there's so much functionality with simple lights like this. Don't take the little lights that you find at like target for granted, man, I found this at like a cheap computer shop a long, long time ago, and I totally forgot about it until I found it digging through my drawer and I found it. And it's so cool, man. I, I'm literally powering this light off of a simple power brick that most people have in their homes to uh, to charge their stuff on the go. So why not try to utilize both these things? And there you go, man. You got a little source of light. Always think about things that you could use as an external light source that you already have on hand. Maybe you have like a flashlight sitting in the garage. Maybe you have something on hand that you could just throw up and get a little extra bit of light and you know just just look around so whenever you get a chance think of things that could help you light your scene up and give your twitch streams or whatever you're doing a little pizzazz because you have it on hand now check this out here's one more cool option i want to give to you guys that i ended up putting in my other lighting video as well and what i want to tell you guys is that you can use your monitors as a source of light now right now uh, my monitors don't have anything on them however if i go ahead and open up a notepad I full screen both notepads, you can see just how much light is being added to my face. Let me go ahead and turn off my monitors here and turn off my background lights. So you can already see how dark it is. But when I turn on my monitors, you're going to see both these monitors turn on and they're going to illuminate my face a lot more than you think. So I'm already getting a huge light source just by utilizing my monitors and being kind of close. Now, granted, it's going to be up to your webcam whether it can kind of capture that. Just know that you have other sources of light that maybe you're not thinking of. And one of them being this, this monitor, I'm literally using three monitors right now. And each one of them has white all over them. So I'm being lit basically from all sides and it looks okay, right? This is a good acceptable look as opposed to my softbox over here. And again, if I, if I go ahead and turn these off and turn back on my key light, you can see just how much this light is compared to if I were to turn back on my monitor's lights. So think about using your monitor as a source of light is what I'm trying to get at. Okay, last thing I want to talk about in regards to lighting is actually something that is not going to really make sense until I fully explain it. And that is getting like just black sheets. Usually we call it duvetine, but you can get just literally black sheets and that'll really help with the way your room is lit because you're subtracting light. Usually people think of ways to light your scene, but when you light a scene, you also need to 
add shadow to your scene to give it a little bit of contrast. So luckily enough, I ended up having, and I've been doing this since the beginning of my streams because I wanted to do like horror game days and stuff. I had to block out the light. I had this huge window back in my early days of streaming. I had to block it out. So I bought these blackout curtains that I use to do just that, man. On one side, it's white, one side, it's black. And it was literally just to block out the sunlight. However, I'm using them now on my walls to stop the light in my room from bouncing all over the place. I, I, saw, I showed you earlier with that light that came in from the side, how much it was bouncing onto my face. When you're thinking about how your light is being reflected around your room, think about a light source coming in and it's, it's hitting this wall over here to my right that you can't see. And that light is hitting me and it's a little too bright. Now, if I just take this sheet, you can, you're going to be able to see how much of a difference it's going to make in terms of what you see on my face in terms of like contrast and whatnot. If I go ahead and cover this wall up, imagine there's a wall here. I cover it up. Now you can see that no more light is being reflected off that wall onto my face because I'm blocking it off. It's being absorbed into the sheet. And if I pull it back off, you're going to see that it's re-illuminating me from let's say a windows over here and uh hitting sunlight on this wall and it's reflected back onto my face i'm going from you know a little bit of extra shadow on my face to just being kind of exposed by the light hitting my wall so consider getting yourself something like a blackout curtain or some sort of black fabric uh, we use duvetine on set a cheaper option is just literally using a sheet that you might have even a t-shirt might work uh, but you can block light from hitting you by just putting it up next to a, a source of light that is, might be reflected onto you. And it's gonna add that much more uh, contrast to your face. Now, whether that's something you want or don't want, that's gonna be up to you. You're gonna be able to decide what you wanna do with your own streams. You're gonna decide how you want your stream to be lit. Do you want it to be nice, airy, and, and light, and bright lights everywhere? Do you want it super dark where all you can see is just the lights behind me? Maybe, th maybe this is the scene that you want. Maybe you only have your phone. You're going to turn your phone's little, you know, screen to white and keep that over here to the side. And that's going to be your illumination. You know what I mean? Like you, you have so much flexibility in the way that you're going to light yourself. You got to figure out exactly what you want to do to light your specific stream and give yourself something that maybe stands out from someone else. You can see here with all these different lighting setups that I have, how many different varieties of options you have at your disposal to be able to light your scenes. You can see you can go from something from bright to something to dark to something to mysterious to something to horror. You have a lot of flexibility in the way you want to light a scene. There's a lot of things that you can do to light your own scenes and whatnot. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Maybe a couple things, maybe a couple tips and tricks that you might have learned. And hopefully something here helps you out. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. If you guys liked the video, feel free to like it. It would help me out, man. The more likes you put on it, I guess the more people see it. I, I don't know how it works, dude. I'm not a YouTube person. I'm trying my best. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Until next time, take it easy. Take care of each other. Stay awesome. Stay beautiful. You are beautiful and be safe out there. Catch you next time.